Hey, what's going on guys? So today I'm gonna be changing out the rear differential fluid on my 2021 Mach 1. Stay tuned and I'll show you how it's done. So I'm gonna be using the uh, 75 weight 140 AMS oil. I did get the slip lock uh, or the friction modifier. What you're gonna have to do on the Mach 1 because it does have a cover, or I've already taken it off. Um, you're gonna need to remove this to get better access. That's just a cover that goes over um, the differential cooler. You're gonna have five seven millimeter uh, bolts, and then you're also going to have four 10 millimeter bolts. There's one that goes here, one here, and there's two that go up on the front that hold it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get set up and, and uh, we'll get this thing going all right guys i'm under the car um i know it's hard to see but before you drain any rear differential fluid um you want to go ahead and take out this fill plug because you start to take this piece off to drain it and that fill plug doesn't come off um you're gonna have some issues so make sure you take out this fill plug or fill plug it's just a standard three eighths ratchet all right take your ratchet and the fill plug you just want to go ahead and crack it loose put something under here in case anything starts to come out there it is all right so for for the cooler line here it swivels and I don't have the correct size wrench just available so I'm gonna go ahead and just use a crescent and you see how it just turns So that's loose. Ooh, that fluid's gross. And we're about to look at that. Ooh, gross. That definitely needed to be changed. Whew. Stinky, stinky. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna let that drain. I'm gonna let whatever's coming out of the cooler uh, drain. And I would say it was definitely definitely time to have that done. All right, guys, uh, we'll be back when we start filling it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, screw this diff cooler line back in. Make sure it's lined up properly <clears throat> guys we are screwing this back on just Take your time, make sure you're not like cross threading it or anything like that. I can feel that it's going on smooth. I'm just holding this line so that it's not turning it. See how if I don't hold it, it wants to turn the line. So I'm just holding it straight. The book calls for two quarts, but that is with the friction modifier. Um, so I've already added a little bit, made a little room in here. 
And now what I'm going to do is just set this right here. I'm going to take this friction modifier and I am going to just add it. To this that way I could just pump it in all right guys it's all in there it's all in there go ahead and pump that if you can see that so I'm just pumping the new gear fluid into the rear differential There it goes, right at two quarts. So I'll pull this out and I'll let it kind of run. And then I will come plug it up. All right guys, so I have added two quarts plus the friction modifier. Um, I've let this kind of just run itself down um, so now I'm going to go ahead and put in the fill plug. Started my hand. I'm going to go ahead and take my 3 8 ratchet. And start ratcheting it on. Just tighten up that fill plug and you're done.